Uh, we have two routers here, router 1 and uh, router 2. Uh, what we are going to do is uh, we're going to configure Telnet on router 1 and then we are going to access uh, router 1 from uh, router 2. I have two routers are up and running now so what we're going to do is we're going to go to the router 1 first and then we're going to configure uh, Telnet on router 1. Enable configure terminal and then first what we're going to do is we're going to assign an IP address uh, to the interface of uh, router 1 interface uh, fast ethernet 0 slash 0 and with IP address 10.0.0.5 with the 24-bit mask and then we're going to bring the interface up by no shutdown and then uh, we're going to go into the global configuration and we're going to create the username and password here. Username through and uh, with the privilege level 15 and then password is encrypted secret with uh, syshello password. Um, so the username and password are created. Then what we are going to do is we are going to go to uh, VTV lines and for the range of uh, 5 VTV lines we're gonna say oh, when we come through this VTV line um, to authentication use that uh, um, local database I mean the running config for the uh, login purpose for the login information and then we're gonna exit here and then exit here again now again now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to router 2 here and then we are going to assign an IP address to the interface of uh, router 2 and then IP address uh, we're going to assign the IP address to the router 2 is 10.0.0.10 uh, 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 with the 24-bit uh, mask and then uh, no sorry uh, um, interface interface uh, uh, 0 slash 0 and then IP address uh, with uh, 10.0.0 with the 24-bit mask and then we're going to bring the interface up by no shutdown and then uh, we're going to check the connectivity first uh, between R, R1 and R2 so we're going to ping the R1 uh, from R2 uh, and we're going to check the connectivity so the connection is good it's we got uh, pinging we got pinged uh, from R2 to R1 now what we're going to do is we're going to telnet from R2 to R1 telnet uh, and the uh, R1 IP address 10.0.0.5 okay it's asking for the user access verification the username is we created as a, is a, we created is true and the password Sys hello. So we are in uh, uh, router one now. Um, let's go into the router one, and we are going to check the connection. Show TCP brief. This will show you the active connection. It shows here the as a foreign address R2 IP address 10.0.0.10 .0 .0 uh, from the port number. Uh, 50965 uh, it's connected to uh, the R1 which is 10.0.0.5 to the port is 23 23 is telnet and the connection state is established let's check something uh, let's go into the uh, here R2 to verify some uh, let's let's uh, let's go to configure terminal we're gonna change the host name and we're going to see the uh, change on the R1 from here remote. And let's say change that to let's say test host name test. So we're going to we change the host name uh, of R1 to test. So we are at the R1 now. It shows R1. So I'm just going to enter, and we say, we see the change there. It changed the host name to test. So let's change that again to R1.
so we had the R1 and then it's changed that back again to R1 